It's 2.09 a.m. Monday, August 1st. So I have a goal to make $250 today. So I want to get my little grind in real quick. I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, for 50 gold the chance to win a few chests. I don't play a lot of these yet, but uh, it is a good way to sometimes gamble getting some legendary items, some gold. All uh, right. We can check in on a few of these and see what we have got just for fun. These are the chests that you could possibly win. You get three of them every time you put 50 gold in. And let's see if they total more than 50 gold or give us some items that we're looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that for the short P ray for crafting later. Yeah, all right, what else we got? By the way, Inquisitor Strike, one of the most underrated cards in the game. When this card does damage, it increases damage by two for each card attached to it. And it's going to be silver, so if you're going up against like a vampire or a werewolf or a ghost or a zombie or something like that, or all the other characters, I think it's supposed to do more damage. Or maybe they changed that. It used to do more damage to, um, since it was silver, to um, creatures of the night. I don't know if it does anymore. All right. So, not a whole lot going on there. We'll sell those. It looks like this one might be a wash unless we get some epic and rare stuff here. And we did, so cool. So that chest, I'm pretty sure we came close to just breaking even, but we got a couple couple things we were looking for, or one thing we were looking for at least. Everything else we'll just go ahead and sell. I'm just breaking these others. So if this was a new 50 gold, so let's see if it breaks 50 gold or goes higher than that. There's one gold, one gold, so three, four, and nine gold so far. We'll sell all those. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 35 is 18. We'll sell all that. And then 19, 20, 21, 23, 27 gold. So basically got half my gold back. But other times um, it doesn't matter because it averages out. And plus it gives you a chance to get items that you want. So always buy these chests is my recommendation. I'll sell all those. Exit out of there. Let's um, should we jump right in a quick match. Mm, let's do it. Let's do a little campaign stuff real fast here. Oh no, I don't want to do camp. Well, I'll try it. Prison, prison of grudges. Well, let's get a hint here. If you drag your feet, the honor will accumulate victory points passively. Try playing aggressively, okay? Armor removal effects will get rid of retaliatory catastrophe. Okay. So, we've got one more attempt at this. Let's see if I had made another deck for this build here. Let's see if this one works. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second. Let's see if that's the same thing or it's a different build. Let's retrieve it. Okay, so we've added Midnight Edge for that, I can see. It's impenetrable and some more impenetrable. So let's try again, see what happens. And if we win, I'll go back and show you the, the deck build. Uh, be aggressive, say. So let's go get these guys as fast as we can. All right, team walk. I would be out driving for Uber now, but I forgot to charge my phone and had it sitting on my bed because I thought I was just going to take a nap. Went to bed at 6.30 p.m. and crashed um, pretty hard. Woke up around 1.30, so... I'm going to go do construction with my buddy today. We're meeting at the job site around 6.30. It's an hour long drive, so I'll leave here at 5.30. So that gives me, if I left now, or as soon as I get, um, as soon as I get my um, bearings here and get the fogginess out, I can go drive for Uber for a couple hours and then hit his way. Uh, let's see, so I can at least make maybe 30, 40 bucks before starting a shift with him and then make 25 bucks an hour. Again, my goal is to make 250 bucks today and every day of the month in August. It's a pretty bold um, move. Usually I make maybe $100 on average a day. So this would be a 
um, increase in my financial productivity. Let's get over here. Man, not a whole lot going on there, but we did get some new stuff, so let's let's try to oh, okay. Let's knock on that guy's door a little bit. Yeah, and if anybody in the comments below has a build that they did that is pretty effective at beating these guys, please let me know, and I will throw it, I'll build it, and then I'll give you credit, and then also um, I'll try little tweaks on it to see if I can make it even better and trade it back to you, or you can just watch to see if I made it better. So probably off to the side is better than being in the direct line of fire here. So next time I would recommend doing that. Let's see, let's in around. All right, so let's make sure that guy's not going to get hit. Oh, well, that's a bad, <laughs> this is a bad mix because I can't even add impenetrable Nimbus to that guy. No, this is a disaster. Let's do that. Okay, guys, to be honest, I'm not feeling it on the campaign. I'll end up just, just going to quit the adventure. And let's we'll go work our way back up here from... Wizards Workshop. Do a little grind action. Oh yeah. So let's go. Let's go all the way back to Firestorm levels two through four. Retrieve that. Oh, uh, you can see we got our Trog Melters, Asgol's Orb times four, Firehide Robes, Zalen's Boots, One Century Veteran, and Novice Blazing, and it's the same in all. Um, all threes. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we've got some Red John staff in a couple of them. Maybe I want to have more. I do actually want to have more Trog Melting going on. So let's, let's find a second Trog Melter. Trog Melter. Okay, cool. That came up. Let's go ahead and put that there. So now there's a greater chance that we can melt some armor and then apply the uh, Firestorm. All right, onward. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's go back, modify party, and let's save the change we just made to that store, okay? Done, and let's go onward here. Let's battle. So no, <laughs> No armor melting stuffs yet. Let's see what's going on here. Let's move this guy up here. Let's move this guy here. I think, uh, let's hit him one time. Okay. 
that's enough for now. Oh, hey, now we can hit those guys with some more damage there, potentially. And this is why I definitely put in the uh, Trog Melter, because the armor is blocking two of my fire damage each time. Otherwise, if I had knocked out his, his armor, um, I could use these Firestorms and the Flash Agony to kill him. And fun tip, if, you, if they die, say that you have burning and they have burning on, if they die first, you win the game. So, moving on. Goodbye, Perry. All right, now we have some, some melting armor on all of them, right? So let's get rid of that guy. See, he gets rid of his armor. Well, I think we got all the armor taken care of, so we will just launch in with some fire damage there. He still has armor, so what we will do is, and these guys all share the same cards. So any of the same items share the same cards. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but so if this guy is the same as this guy, they're both uh, 10 golems, they're gonna share all these cards. So they're both sharing um, the same mail. And now I should be able to hit him fire storm and not have any problems. Yeah, both took four damage. Should be able to hit that guy one more time. And that's it for this stage of the game. Boop. All right. Okay, collect loot. Let's see what we got here. I was going to go ahead, go through this, and take it all real quick, and then continue for efficiency's sake. If anybody wants me to make a build, go to my YouTube channel and leave the idea in a comment. And I'll give you credit for the idea when I make the video. So. The goal is to grow the uh, subscribership to a thousand. Oh well. God, that's so frustrating that I can't type a D or E without those things coming up. I have to use dictation all the time. Something's not compatible with the app or Steam or something. All right, let's go and zap this guy. All right, well, nobody has any armor, so I'm just going to whack him. Takes care of two of those. Let's go with that guy. Let's do healing. Get away from everybody. Get some life back so he doesn't die next round. Like that guy, he's toast. Okay, next. Walk, walk. Okay, done. Stars for Sir Kickass victory. A little dragon head came up. Let's collect some loot. Select all. There we go. Continue. Battle. All 
right? Let's just put that there for a second. Zoop. Right, he can probably move off to the side. Hit him again with that. He can go back further. And then same with that. Okay, cool. That got through. And now we'll wait for we'll wait for some trog melters so that we can get rid of this armor and kill him faster. So the whole reason to put that other trog melter into the and maybe we'll add a third one uh, for this build and then we can kill that dude. Hmm. So let's get rid of some armor here. There we go. Maybe Warcry would be a better way to go for the armor. Hmm. Let's make notes two for Warcry. All right. Then that takes care of all the armor. Maybe all the blocks. Let's see. We'll come back, let's we'll go like this. He's got one more armor there. Let's go ahead and let's hit him with some firestorm again, see if it gets him. All right. And we're gonna try one more firestorm here. But first, we're gonna try to hit him with lightning. Zap. Here we go, he's toast. Um, violent spin will take. Awesome. For crafting, those are hard to find. So, nifty. We'll take it. Finish. Ah. Uh. All right, guys, I'm feeling like I'm just going to go ahead and go with the battery power that I have for Uber. Um, maybe just go for an hour or two and then um, come back, have some breakfast, maybe do some exercise on the treadmill, maybe play another game. I'll see you guys on the flip side.